Hey, Cinemark fans, the best-selling novel is finally brought to the big screen, and I'm here with this amazing cast of Redeeming Love. My first question is for Abby. Angel is such a complex character that goes on such a journey, but what was it that first struck you about her? I was just drawn to her tenacity, her, her strength. I think that, you know, with everything that she had been through, the fact that she was still a fighter and also the fact that she still had this inner child in her. I thought that that was a very um, real and honest portrayal of women in her shoes. So I thought that, yeah, I really was just drawn to her, her story in general. And Nina, May seems like one of the purest characters in this film. How would you describe May? I would describe May as hopeful and slightly naive and a bit of a, um, I don't want to say hopeless romantic, but she really did believe in love and believe that love would prevail in her case. And unfortunately, it doesn't necessarily work out that way. I mean, it does because she has the love of her daughter and vice versa, but life turns on her in a way that she wasn't expecting. And some of her decisions lead her down a path that ultimately end up with her demise. And so, it's a tough story that affects her daughter later on. But I do see that there's like a, a naive, naivete in her from the very beginning. She lived in a very difficult era that I would not like, I wouldn't want to go back to myself. But um, especially for women in general, like it was a tough time to be a woman at that time. She can't keep me here. You forget where I found you, Missy. I made you a princess. Feel the power, Angel. The only girls who leave here are too old, too sick to work, or dead. I'm gonna kill you. Do it! Is it freeing? Is it more fun to play kind of the bad guy villain? It's always more fun to play the bad guy, the villain. Um, you know, you get to do all that stuff and you don't have to worry about uh, real world consequences, right? You know, you get to explore that stuff without having to deal with the repercussions. And how about for you, Fomka? You've had your fair share of playing heroes. What is it like to play a villain? For me, it's really refreshing and interesting because it's so not who I am in real life. So I really uh, enjoy playing characters like that and going into the darker aspects of uh, the psyche of a person and um, not having to deal with, you know, the, the moral aspects of those. And it's, you know, the people they're everywhere in our in our own existence um, and we probably are all to a certain extent the villain and and you know the, the the good person in our own lives or usually people are much more complicated than just being labeled one thing so and Nina what do you think it is about this story in particular that has really uh, past the tale of time, so to speak. Well, the theme at its core is a really powerful theme and it's very honest and raw and real and it's just that life is difficult and love will ultimately prevail, but it won't be a straight shot and it won't be an easy path and it will present itself with challenges because that's what life does. But ultimately you have to make a choice and it's to choose love and choose who you want to go through those difficult times with because they're going to happen. So who do you want to have by your side that's going to fight for you no matter what and will continue time and time again to fight and to redeem that love? That's kind of, it, it, it's a very simple but very raw and very relatable concept. It absolutely is. So folks, make sure not to miss your opportunity to see this heartwarming love story brought to life and get your tickets for Redeeming Love at Cinemark.com. from here. Give me the life I deserve. Mm -hmm. I've got too many demons. I don't know how to love. You cannot choose the life you have, but you can choose the life you want. You